How are you doing guys? Welcome back uh, today. As you can see, I have a big Lego Technic set. This is the Ferrari Daytona SP3, set number 42143 with uh, 3,778 pieces. This is uh, Ferrari branded. This is part of the Lego Technic 1 8 scale uh, car sets, which they've done a Porsche, uh, Bugatti and a Lamborghini Sian. Uh, awesome, awesome vehicles. I do have those, so I just had to get this. Uh, it is a bit pricey. This was $399, which nowadays that is a crap ton of money to be paying for plastic. But because I'm into cars, I'm into automobiles, and I have all the other three uh, cars, I just have to get, I just had to have to get this. I haven't even opened it yet. Uh, I just got this. This was released on June 1st. Um, so I figure we'll try and do some kind of unboxing here um but here's the actual box here's the other side a uh, cool looking vehicle there and here is the uh branding uh, the ferrari branding i don't know if you guys could see there is some kind of like tire marks there uh in there um uh, this is held on by tape here on um on the bottom here and you guys could see that I do have a knife here. We'll we'll try and uh, and and open this. We'll we'll try and see how it uh how it works out for us here. But uh, I, I'm so happy I was able to get this set. As I said, it's uh it's pretty out there. It's pretty expensive, but uh you know it's a plastic addiction here. And there's more tape here, so we'll take the knife here to the plastic and there's some more uh, branding so then we will open this and as you guys can see as I'm lifting this off there's uh, they did this little cool thing where the Lego model was in the box but then you actually see the actual car there really awesome uh packaging is like top top notch let's see what's on this side uh here's again an embossed uh no, it looks embossed picture of the car uh, i'll try to see if i can maybe get you guys up a little higher so you guys could see um the contents there but um yeah, really, really cool. Uh, and the way they've done this is there's uh, looks to be three boxes here. And this looks to be the back of the Daytona. Really cool, the exhaust and then the back uh, fins or pieces of the rear bumper. Really cool. And they've done this kind of packaging for all the other cars. The other boxes were a bit more rectangular and a bit more flatter. Uh, this is a slightly different design for them, but um you know let's see if we can pull this out so here's one box actually here's box one and we'll try and see yep it's not taped or anything so and wow guys so uh in here i don't know if you could see is the actual instruction two big instruction booklets that say ferrari daytona sp3 um here's a book I guess what would be book one. Here's some pictures. Yep, yep. This is pretty much uh, book one. Some really cool details there. So that's book one. Here is, I guess, book two. This thing's more than likely going to take me weeks to uh, to build. So we will see. Yep, book two. And then inside of uh, here. You could pull this panel out and uh, here's all the bags and stuff. Looks like bag ones through two. Um, really cool. So we'll put this back for now. I'm, I'm probably not going to do any kind of build video. I like to take my time with these and um, build them on my own leisure. Uh, so more than likely what I'll do is post a video once. I am 
uh, completely done with the whole, um, sorry, with the whole model. So let's put this aside. That was, that was box one. Here is uh, box two, a little lighter because it doesn't have all those books in there. And um, essentially same thing. You pull the flaps out and here you go guys, more uh, more bags. This looks to be bags four through three, four and five. Uh, it's a whole lot of pieces, really cool. That is a uh, box two and nothing on the back. And uh, here's the last box, box uh, three. Let's see what's in here. And the cool thing is too, these boxes are not just flat and rectangular. There's a, uh, here on the edges, you guys can see that there. We will try and open this, there we go. And here you go, here's a uh, box three. It looks to be the rims, the tires, and box seven through nine. And here's the, uh, one of the tires, really low profile. Uh, tires for a sports car, uh, you know, I think the norm for sports cars nowadays, but really cool And uh, yeah, so that's it guys. I'm probably going like I said take my time building this uh, Just wanted to do this intro video and then maybe what I'll do is uh, Splice at the end some of the steps and my build my build etc But uh, Just want to share this with you guys. Here you go. This is the Ferrari Lego Technic Ferrari Daytona SP3. And I'll see you on the other side. Okay, guys. So bag one of the Lego Ferrari Daytona SP3 is done. I've been taking my time building uh, this thing. So it's been a while since I actually uh, bought the, 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 uh, the model. And now I'm actually building it. So this is all just bag one which included a lot of the gearbox, the transmission, and of course the, uh, I believe it's a 6.5 liter uh, V12 that you build uh, with the some of the, uh, tra um, sorry, suspension components here. So I just wanted to show that this is pretty much a result of all the bag ones, which I believe were about six different bags in uh, total. Uh, and this part's pretty key um, in, in building and being very careful because it includes a lot of the uh, gearing and clutches and components and placing specifically. Uh, I don't know if you could see them through here. Those orange uh, pieces in the right places is very key so that it works together. Uh, there's also another additional piece which I can't find right now. Um, it's a little green piece that you have to make sure that... Um, it's placed in the correct orientation otherwise the thing won't work together it won't work correct once you have it all in place and as you can see this is just step one so just imagine uh, not having this in the correct orientation and then uh, finding out once you're done with everything and you know you'd have to have a lot of patience to take all of this apart uh, but it's really cool now in step one you can see a lot of the the guts of what goes that you don't normally see at least in the newer uh, Lego Technic models, right? A lot of this stuff is going to be covered up. So the the main thing for me that I always get a kick out of is seeing the um, the um, the cylinders and and the pistons moving um, up and down. So you guys could see there, <laughs> that's really awesome. I love the the V12. My understanding is that in this car, the V12 is right behind the uh, passengers. So I guess it's mid-engine, maybe, or rear engine, um, probably mid-engine. Uh, but it's really cool that you could see all this stuff. Um, you know, I love that uh, LEGO included this, I believe this, uh, you know, suspension component here uh, was uh, pretty much specifically made for this, uh, for this one. You guys could see some of the compression there on the spring with the strut. So that's really cool. Yeah, so bag one is done. Um, you know, just sort of want to give you guys an overview of, you guys could see all the gearing there, uh, how it's key to get that all in the right place. 
Uh, but anyway, I guess I'll be seeing you guys once I am done with bags two. Again, this is bag one um, of box one. There's three boxes in total, as you guys saw. So I'll see you guys then. Hey guys, so just another uh, quick update. Uh, finally got done with uh, all the bags numbered uh, two uh, from box one. And that was pretty much all of the uh, front uh, suspension here. Uh, this part, uh, a lot of the steering, like the steering rack that you see here, you finally um, built everything and all the gearing. Uh, it also involved the uh, shifting uh, mechanism, which I'm assuming sort of uh, it's the paddles. Uh, as you'll see here, uh, some rubber bands uh, involved in the movement, a lot of gearing here. Um, but you guys could see uh, uh, the transmission there working. Uh, and my hope is that I've done this correctly. I followed the instructions to a T so that hopefully there shouldn't be any issue. Uh, as I mentioned as well, uh, the steering too. Uh, the steering wheel will go here. I believe that's part of uh, bags number three. Uh, but you could uh, sort of see a lot of, you know, the movement, the, steer the steering rack actually is up here, uh, the mechanism anyway, you guys could see the movement, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, it's kind of almost like a shame uh, once you're done building, all of this will be uh, covered up. The other cool aspect of bag two is that um, you're linking the engine to the front uh, but then there's also the shifter here so that when you're shifting I'm assuming from drive to reverse that's in neutral um, you know you're actually shifting gears and it will affect all the whole gearing uh, back here as well so yeah I just want to provide an update this uh, just got done with as I said bags number two of box one I will now be moving to bags three of box two um, I forget what step exactly I'm on, but I know I'm, I'm still ways off from com uh, completing this. But I just wanted to show it. Uh, it's kind of cool having all this stuff out uh, and seeing, you know, all the inner workings and all the little gearings and things that go into this build. Um, but yeah, pretty cool stuff. And I guess I'll see you guys uh, once I am done with bags uh, three. Thanks. Okay, so bag three is done. This would be bag three of box uh, two. Um, and this was mainly a lot of uh, reinforcement here on the sides and on the back. A lot of uh, pins and long um, pieces to reinforce the uh, chassis, I guess, uh, to the rest of the... The frame uh, finally also get to put on some uh, panels uh, you guys could see them there these red panels uh, for the exterior uh, you also get to build a, a bit of a section up here uh, near the roof um, uh, there's this cool part where you kind of put the center console together and you flip it over and you kind of have to get it in place so that's really nice uh, but yeah the the whole theme behind this bag three was mainly a lot of reinforcing the sides, uh, attaching pins, like I said, um, and uh, yeah, it came together uh, really quick. As you could see, there is a car in there taking uh, shape. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, you know, it's rather unfortunate that a lot of the um, Technic stuff for the trans over here in a tunnel, it's essentially being covered, I guess, you know, like a car, right? Uh, so you don't really get to see a lot of the movement. Uh, one of the cool things that you now get to do in this step and towards the end of bag three is you get to attach the steering wheel, uh, the paddle shifters uh, for this part. And, um, you know, you have to make sure the steering wheel is straight, that the wheels here are facing straight forward before you locking uh, the gearing, uh, the gear, the tooth uh, gear in the front. So now you actually have a working steering wheel. Um, which is really really cool you guys. I don't know if you could see and then um, the paddle shifters are also uh, You know you put them in there they worked before but you, you can do a lot of the uh, gearing and from here you can actually see um, Right there that orange piece here as you move the um, the paddles that will move 
and it moves the um there's a gray uh, gear in there i don't know if you guys could see it that moves every time you move the paddles uh really cool stuff um uh, this thing is definitely now um starting to take shape uh, the next bag appears to be the front end. Uh, I believe most of this underside will stay uncovered, which is kind of cool, especially this uh, the gearing uh, in the front, in, in the bottom there, sorry. Um, but right there you guys can see uh, there is a car in there taking place. Anyway, I guess I'll see you guys once I am done with bags number four, which is still box two. There's three boxes in total. Uh, box two had bags number three through five. So three is all here. Uh, four I will be working on next. So I guess I'll see you guys then. Okay, so more progress here. Uh, I just got done with bag number four, uh, still of box uh, two. And the majority of it was spent um, on the front end here, which you could see. Uh, it's coming together really nice. Uh, a lot of the sloping here and the panels. Um, a lot of this whole portion here. You guys could see it. Uh, this whole section here uh, is one piece that you build separate. And then you attach to the rest of the body uh, via these orange pins that you could see everywhere here. Um, and uh, that was the main part of this bag. There were some side panels like these panels here uh, that were part of the bag four step. Um, but the majority of it, all of it, it was actually spent here in the front. And I must say uh, the front end is coming in uh, really, really nice there. And some of the cowling here as well. The, uh, I guess the front section is supposed to be the, the dash of the car that was also part of a uh, bag uh, four but this front end is coming in together really uh, nice you could see uh, so far thankfully uh, no stickers which is awesome especially for a set that's this expensive uh, a lot of print uh, Ferrari print pieces um, I don't know if you guys could see it there and then one down here in the bottom but and uh, I really uh, did like building these corner sections of the front um, all these separate bricks, etc. And again, you're doing a lot of the covering up of the, the trans and, and all this stuff. Uh, but really cool. So that was bag um, number uh, four there. Going to do bag five, which my understanding should now be covering up that engine and the rear. Um, but yeah, so that's my progress so far. And I guess I'll see you guys at the end of bag five. Okay, so another update. I just got uh, finished building bags number five of box two. As you guys could see there, uh, most of the build uh, on this step five was the back section here, which is uh, the hood essentially in the back. Um, really cool print piece here for the gas cap. Uh, the build was really nice. It's a lot of different pieces to give the shape and sort of like some races and, and humps and everything. So I think it came out really well. It was a lot of uh, little pieces, building, attaching things. Uh, this is also the step where you attach these long um, pieces here to the hood so that, so that it could stay up. Uh, but you guys could see there is a lot of different elements and pieces that are used uh, in this step. Uh, by this point, the engine's covered. There are some nice print pieces with the Ferrari logo uh, there, but the V12, uh, it's kind of... You can barely see it at this point, but um, it's really cool. The The hood here does stay up. You just got to make sure you kind of bring it all the way up so it stays in place. Once you do start getting it down, it does get heavy and then it'll go down. And the window is nice, but you can't, you know, I guess you can't really see much with those window elements. But it's really cool. It's really coming together uh, really well. The other part was this uh, front portion here of the windshield. Uh, what is essentially the windshield so these black rubber parts with this little frame here to give it a bit of a shape so you guys can see it's coming together along well i'll post another update uh, once i am done with bags number six okay so last update before i'm fully done uh, with the ferrari here just got done completing bags number six of box three 
Uh, this step specifically involved the doors, the hood, a little bit of the front spoiler here, and also involved tying in the mechanism to open the doors. And then lastly, also these cool blue uh, seats with the Ferrari logo on the headrests. Um, and also this, uh, there's this awesome print pieces here on the doors, which is really cool. No stickers, which frankly at this point, um, you know, that should be the norm, right? Um, also, you know, you tie in a lot of these sections. So as you guys could see, the car is pretty much completed. Uh, one thing that uh, this step involved, as I said, is tying in the door opening mechanism. So you guys see this yellow part, you press that down and the doors uh, do open and they stay up pretty cool um and pretty much the next step is bags number seven and that should be it and that involves the wheels some of the rear end and the the top portion here of the roof and then we should be done great build so far pretty happy with it um so yeah see you guys i guess in the last update finally done uh back here uh all completed uh bag seven of box three so i'm really happy to finally be done i think after working on this thing for about a week i want to say probably two to three hours uh each week taking my time uh, but i am so so happy with the end result uh, i love the way the daytona sp3 came out uh, especially here in the uh front uh section here there are these all these pieces to build out the front. I, I actually enjoyed building that. I thought it was going to be very tedious. Um, and then if I can somehow show you the uh, back, it was also the similar build here, but I this thing came out really nice, the, the back part here. And I'm showing it to you under actual uh, light on my desk. Uh, no artificial lighting or anything. Um, so it's a little washed out because of the sun coming in. But uh, yeah, this back part was really intricate to build. Again, I thought it was going to be very tedious, but it came out nice. Uh, the wheels, I also love the elements. Uh, that's a brand new wheel element, which uh, as much as this set costs, it's to be expected. The other thing um, about price, obviously, I think this thing is now $450. I don't believe I pay that much for it because I got this prior to the price increase in August. Uh, but these are pretty pricey. But again, um, I think for the size and the build intricacy, uh, no stickers in this set, which is great. So every little piece that you see there is uh, printed, even on the uh, interior, uh, on the wheels, the little uh, cablino or whatever they call it, the, on the also the uh, brake calipers. That's all printed, which is really cool. It's really nice. And also the um, nameplate here all printed which is i think going forward this is what lego should be doing printed pieces especially for these sets that have these plaques um i don't want to see stickers anymore <laughs> uh but overall the car came out really uh nice um it's this is probably closer in size to the bugatti i think is a chiron or chiron as, as some people pronounce it um and yeah you know i some slight complaints, I guess, on my end. Um, it, it's the hollowness here on, on the door parts, which uh, I know they need some room to open these doors, but um, I kind of felt like perhaps these uh, sections could have been covered uh, a little better there. Uh, the other thing too, and I think this kind of applies mostly to all these kind of Technic models, uh, is the fact that if you want it to sort of play with anything, you kind of have to get your hand in there and I don't know about you guys uh, my hands can't really fit in so you have to start taking things apart uh, and everything but I honestly these are more display pieces I enjoy them for the build experience which in this case for me this was top notch um, so I don't I really only play with the you know steering and and this transmission shifting once and then I kind of just don't anymore uh, but overall yeah I'm really happy with this thing the uh, back part here again more uh, printed pieces as you guys can see um, Your hood does stay up. You kind of just have to hold it in place uh, You could see some of the engine and this is I guess one of my complaints, but again in general for all these Technic sets it's is the um, Everything gets covered up right all the cool inner inner stuff 
Um, I guess along the line with the complaints is the fact that this hood uh, really doesn't like to stay up uh, for too long. And also, um, in order for you to use the door mechanisms um, that's uh, back here, and I think I showed this earlier in one of the steps, is that yellow part. You have to keep the hood open. And as you are sort of uh, pressing down, the hood comes down, um, but you can press that in and the door opens. But then uh, if you want to do the other door, you have to make sure this stays open. And there's also a yellow uh, mechanism there to open the other door and it opens. Uh, now you can close this. So that hood doesn't really stay up uh, that long. The doors do stay up. I thought it was pretty cool, as I mentioned earlier in the build. Uh, once you're in here, you can see some of the interior. The roof itself can also come out. It's just held in place by uh, those two parts. And now you can get better access uh, if you wanted to play with the steering. The steering does work. The transmission, you know, I think it has got forward, reverse, so, you know, the gearing. Uh, you also get uh, your little paddle shifters uh, here. But as I mentioned, I guess that's one of my complaints, but it's, I think it's just the nature of the model. Um, it's it's just really hard to get your hands in there. Um, but again, I, it doesn't really bother me because I don't play with it too much. Um, what else? So right here in the front, there is a uh, hood that you can open. And there's a little prop rod right here that you can used to hold your hood in place. And in there, there's a little tag with the numbers of the set. But overall, um, I am really, really liking and loving this set. I know it's for 50, so it's a lot of money. Uh, but me personally, I, I do uh, love cars as a whole, and I thought this set was worth it. So I guess before we close, let's do a quick review with, uh, with all the other uh, Technic uh, Lego cars that I have uh, here. So before we close, just want to do a quick comparison here of all the other Lego uh, Technic in this same uh, size scale as this one. So uh, there it is next to the um, uh, the Porsche, the GT2 RS or GT3 RS, if I'm remembering correctly. This is the first one I got, I think at least um, uh, the first one that I remember being released sort of like in, in this um, sports car uh, theme. And then there's uh, three of them together. There's the Lamborghini uh, Sian. That's uh, the one that was out before this Ferrari. Um, and just a wider shot there with the um, all four of them, right? There's the uh, Bugatti. And it pairs up really well with all four of them, uh, with all three of them. Uh, you know, obviously, if you're already heavily into this like I am, uh, you're going to have a nice addition to your fleet of cars, right? And... Um, you guys could see more details there on the Ferrari. It pairs up really well with all the other um, sets. Really cool stuff. Uh, again, is this worth it? Uh, again, as I said, uh, Lego has been going up in price, especially I think since August due to the uh, price increase. Um, this uh, Ferrari is now $450, so it is quite a bit of money. Um, you know, if you're into these things and, you know, you're already fully in like I am, you're probably already bit the bullet and made peace with the fact that these things are just going to be expensive and keep going up in price. I guess the other aspect, too, is that these Lego Technic uh, cars are becoming more and more, uh, especially uh, display models, right? Some of the play features are there, uh, but they're a bit hard to, I guess... Um, reach or adjust as you can see i couldn't really fit my hand in the cockpit that well so for me a lot of that stuff is secondary this is as i said going to be more of a display model and also the, the build experience the build experience itself is awesome as you guys could see in the prior steps at least i enjoyed it a lot uh, there was a bit of trepidation because of how huge the set is and the amount of pieces but once i got going uh it became really enjoyable and um you know i enjoyed taking my time as i said uh this build, they've uh, done a really good job. Some minor niggles, obviously the hood doesn't really stay up in the back. Um, in order for you to get the doors open, uh, to reach the mechanism, you have to have the hood open. Uh, so little things like that, that I wish it could have worked out better. Uh, the gaps here as well. Um, yeah, but uh, you guys can see there the front end. Uh, it looks really mean, very accurate to the figure. And again, 
it fits in really well. So for me, this was definitely uh, worth it to, to have this here. You guys can see the mold there. Anyway, so I'll wrap up this video. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for your very valuable time. If you have any questions, more than happy to help. Feel free to leave a comment. Uh, but thank you so much for your time. You know, enjoy the rest of your day. And be nice to each other. And take care.